Flash CS3 and CS4 ActionScript 3 tutorial, we learn how to program the UI loader component to bring in a dynamic image and monitor its load progress percentage. Let me show you what I mean. Let's press Control Enter, export the file, see the load percentage. Bam. Okay, let's click Create New ActionScript 3 file. And I'm in CS4, but you can be working in Flash CS3. And all of this will be exactly the same. So the first thing we want to do is grab a text tool. Let's make sure in the properties panel it's dynamic text and it's set the way we like. So let's slap it on stage there. Drag it out to make it a little longer. Let's check the properties and give it a status underscore txt instance name. So now we give it an instance name of status underscore txt now we can refer to this text field in our code to give a status of what's going on or to show the status of what's going on okay now I'm gonna set the properties of the size of my file to maybe about 680 by 500 okay now I'm gonna drag out the from the components library the UI loader component so now we have an instance of the UI loader component and in our library you can see now we have component assets and that UI loader now let's just give this an instance name of UI loader okay now we can save this file it's going to file save as I'm gonna make a new folder on my desktop for it let's call it AS3 UI loader component now inside of that actually let's grab that name because that's what we'll name the file this flash CS4 document which you can also save as a CS3 document if you needed to. Press save. Okay. Now in that folder, let's make sure we put an image. So right here on my desktop, I have my image. It's a uh, JPEG. So it's my underscore image dot JPEG. Let's take a look at it. That's it right there that's what I want to load in dynamically into the UI loader so I'm going to put that in my new project folder that I created here UI loader component see there's my file let's put, pop that image right in there okay so now we have the image sitting right next to the file okay so we want to load that into our flash file dynamically so let's show you the code for that now now just to keep things organized I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to name layer 1 stage elements, things that are on stage. Layer 2, I'm going to name AS3, short for Action Script 3. Now let's highlight that Action Script 3 keyframe there and press F9. Now we're in our Actions panel, Flash CS4. We're going to type in first the variable, it's going to be the string variable for the the image coming in. So you say my image colon string equals in between double quotes we're going to put my image that was the image we put in that folder dot jpeg. Okay so the next line is going to be a URL request and we're going to use this string in the URL request line make a new variable of request colon URL request equals new URL request and now let's put this image string right here right into the URL request line now 
we're going to set some properties for the UI loader. Remember we gave it an instance name of UI loader. This property is scale content. And I'm going to talk to you more about this and we'll experiment with it when we get done with the code. I'll show you what this does. First we'll say false. Now UI loader is going to need an event listener for our complete handler and our progress handler because we're going to be able to monitor the progress as the picture loads in give you a nice little loading percentage indication. So let's say add event listener and this is event dot complete comma and let's name the function that's going to fire off complete handler okay so when the image is loaded in all the data for the image is loaded in and ready for display it runs the complete handler when it's all the progress is loaded in now we're going to say UI loader that add event listener let's just grab that whole line we'll just change it up for our needs here this is going to be progress event and we're going to call this progress handler now what's going to happen is we're going to be able to monitor the progress this has to be progress event here we're going to monitor the progress of the image the external image that's on our server we're going to monitor the progress of it loading into the UI loader so now we just say UI loader dot load the request the URL request right there so that will effectively load the URL requested image into the loader and now let's see we're going to create two functions we need the complete handler function and the progress handler function so let's get those in here on line 9 okay let's type in function we can grab this function name here progress handler and this is going to be event colon progress event close the semi or close the parenthesis void open curly brace and go down a couple of lines and close the curly brace now let's create another function nest right below it this is going to be for the complete handler so let's just change the name of that function and this is not going to be a progress event it's just going to be a regular event let's claim it as regular event now here we can add some things to the status text field so when it it's completely loaded in it will say image is finished loading or something like that equals let's say image is loaded <clears throat> so when it's completely loaded in and the progress has finished listening and it knows it's all loaded in it's going to snap to this complete handler and fire that off and it will say image is loaded and at that point you can do anything you want inside of this function you don't have to write something to a text field I'm just putting it to a text field to show you a good example of when things are hap or what's happening when so here in this line we're gonna type in or make the status text field show the percentage loaded colon let's put a space now let's go beyond this double quote here and let's type in a plus sign 
Now what we're going to do is we want to put the event dot target dot percent loaded. Let's be lowercase. That's uppercase. There we go. So what we're doing is saying is putting into the status text field so we can see what's going on the words percent percentage loaded and it's going to be monitoring the percent loaded progress so you'll see the text field rolling along in an animated fashion showing the numbers changing okay so what we have to do here is round the math off so let's put this we have to round the math off because that would be some crazy decimal number if we don't so let's claim math dot round and that will effectively make a large number or a decimal number rounded it will round any number for you okay so I think that is it looks good to me da -da 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 -da. everything is instance name alright let's test let's press control enter and there it is image is loaded and the reason why we didn't see any load percentage is because we're loading an image that's on our local machine here sitting in the same folder on my desktop doesn't need to load it's already in my system if I was loading from the web which I'm going to show you guys just a few things that are handy to know about this before we call it quits here but pretty much the application is done and we're loading in an image from our server into our main flash file and load and monitoring its load percentage okay let's take a look at one of these properties let's go in back into our actions panel see this property of false let's turn that to true and see what happens so scale content is now set to true and you see our UI loader it's 100 by 100 now let's press control enter or F12. You can see the size our scroller is physically on the stage will determine oh that's not what I wanted to do will determine the size of the let's just change the properties here. There we go. Let's make it that wide and that high. Now you'll see it'll be just a little bit larger now. And it also centers it. That might be handy for some of you guys if you want to let's go to the properties again and make it almost as wide as the whole file now you'll see my little image will be centered to, see? it's centered on stage as long as this is about centered it's going to throw it right in the middle of that so that shows you how to access the the scale mode true property of it that way you can scale your images down if they're too big when you're loading them into your file so no matter what size they are they'll fit nice okay so now let's go ahead and change that well actually no let's just show you if you really must or if you really want to see the load percentage progress on your local machine <clears throat> there's a way to do that you can just go to Google type in flower flowers whatever go to images and now let's go to large extra large and you just click the image and then press stop don't let it load all the way in well first you gotta get the image going so you don't let it load all the way in and then you just grab that URL copy it close the browser down go back into flash cs4 change your string for the where the image is refer referenced to that image online now let's press control enter and we'll actually see some animated progress control enter there it is beautiful huh bada bing bada boom that's how it's done we'll see you guys next lesson this uh, Flash source file will be available at uh, developphp.com.
and actually I'm going to turn it into a flash CS3 file so the CS3 and CS4 users can both get to it because it works in CS3 and CS4 exactly the same.